fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What it do, y'all? Hey, guys. We're Embrace Sick 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I am Daniel. Coming at you, idiot abroad, episode 7 of season 1. I can't believe it's episode 7. I know. Of 8. We've got one more after this wow. The Carl comes home. But wow. But today we are talking Peru. Peru. Yeah. Um, I guess this, this season was the seven wonders of the world. So, uh... I'm assuming Machu Picchu. Yeah, Machu Picchu. I... So, let's see. What was the last one? Was Brazil. Yes. Brazil. Yeah. So, they're so. flying back. I hope... I, uh-oh. My no, bad. no, no, you're good. You're I good. hope they went from Brazil to Peru. Not... Brazil, flying back home, and go right back. <laughs> anyway. I don't know, man. That's the only one way to find out. This, what? out of all these places, all these places, I would have, I would love to go to Egypt once. Uh-huh. Just because I love history. And Peru. Which is, I have family in Peru. Oh, yeah, but, that's right. But I would love to go to Peru. Not my family side of Peru, but... To right, see right. these sites. Yeah, yeah. But the right way, not the Carl Pilkington way. <laughs> just the worst, absolute worst part. I just, they ruined the world for this man. I mean, that's literally what Ricky Gervais is trying to do, is ruin the experience. Oh, my God. For right. the entertainment <laughs> of us. Thank God for him. Yes. I'm sorry, Carl, but it's funny. Let's go in, man. Yep. The Seven Wonders of the World. Christ the Redeemer. The Taj Mahal. The Great Pyramids. Truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Carl Pilkington. Is this for the hunting, or is she just a bit forward? I don't know the politically correct term. Moron, I think. He is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like, mank, moron, buffoon, idiot. And he's a friend. He's a typical little Englander, and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. I just think it would be amazing to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. <laughs> Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic of Sky behind me. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit. This is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> I have to pause real quick. I am burning up. Yeah, no, you're good. All right. So let me... <laughs> <laughs> Stand by for technical difficulties. Not even technical. We have a heater. Yes. And yeah. it works. And it works way too well. So... I'm gonna bring this over here. here and let's go. let's. All right, all right. It's very warm in here. So it let is. me um. All right, there we go. That? All right, that's good. That's good. <laughs> we'll put this on the blooper reel. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First discovered by Western eyes in about 1911, Machu Picchu in Peru. Oh. Truly one of the seven wonders. You must be very familiar with that. Breathtaking. No, I haven't heard of that. Never heard of it. Good view. Good view, important. Yeah. Um, bit out of the way. It's accessible by an 11 hour trek through the mountains. Well, that's not accessible, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That wouldn't cut the mustard on location, 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 would it? You can't live like that, can you? You can't, I, I mean, I, people moan at me, delivery drivers moan at me, and I look just because I'm on a second floor. <laughs> so if you're up there, they're going to have a right whinge on by the time they get to you. <laughs> you don't seem that phased by the fact you've got to do an 11-hour trek. I like a walk. I'll probably see loads of better things on the way than I do when I get there. <laughs> uh, camping. Yeah, camping's all right, you know what I mean? It's quite relaxing. 
you're out in the open air, quite like the idea of that. The only thing that's annoying with camping is a uh, toilet situation. Up here. In India, hole in the ground. <laughs> it is better. It can't possibly be better. Why not? In China, where I thought they're advanced, it still had a hole in the ground. <laughs> that's, that's my main panic that I've had about this trip. How am I going to do it in the woods? I made this. A little camping chair. It's got a little hole in it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anymore, I just put staples around it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Yes! I don't have any better yes! on it yet. But it's only eight quid. Pop that up. Sit there like that. That's what I'm talking about, about man. That's genius. Finally. At like... I love that he's learning as he goes. <laughs> it's a great experience. Oh, dude. Oh, man. The, 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 the shitter. I love that every every trip, he gets more and more shit food. Like, he packs more and more shit. More snacks. More snacks. Because he's learned like, yeah, that he's he learned. did not have access to it. Nope. Oh, man. <laughs> I've used it a bit. Looks all right, doesn't it? Staples, I mean, bro. it's the last one, isn't it? It's, it should be the easiest one, because in my head, I'm going, it's over now. So no matter how bad it gets... I think that will keep me going. Not happy with this. Seriously, not happy with this. It's funny how the director's got in a different one. I'm not getting on this. <laughs> Why is it landing on water? There's enough land here. Chop, chop some of the trees down. There's shitloads of land. Make another runway. <laughs> Why are we landing on this? I thought we were just going to Machu Picchu. I've got to go on a plane. And apparently there was smoke here. Yeah, look, they've got the engine open, look. Is it easily sorted? You fix it? No. You, you can't fix it. Don't worry, it's It's OK. Ah! <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> no, it's not. It's <laughs> <laughs> he hates okay, this. I met the captain, he's called George, which isn't a name that pilots normally have. When you hear them on the speaker thing, it's normally the surnames they use and stuff in it, sort of the posh sounding. I've never heard, all right, George here, that's, that isn't a, a, a pilot's name, that. <laughs> what? Oh, fucking hell. Whoa, what's he doing? Every time I looked over, he seemed to have his hand on something and the fellow next to him sort of grabbing it, going, don't do that, and he's sort of looking like, what? I think that's why they have doors <laughs> on planes, so you can't see the captain. It's nothing to do with security, it's just so you can't see the dev who's driving it. Because it puts you on edge, doesn't it? And then I looked again, he's got butties out. He sat there having his lunch. It's only an hour flight, have it before we go or when we get there. So it's just little things like that that niggle me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Are we landed down here? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> oh god, he's in hell! He's in hell! Hello mate, Steve here. Hope you had a good flight and everything. And uh, just wanted to let you know about a very slight change of plan. Um, Ricky and I were having a chat and we sort of agreed that it seemed a bit mad for you to go straight to Machu Picchu. So we thought um, you could just sort of make your way there through the jungle. You know what I mean? Just, just follow the Amazon. Uh -oh. um, I think it's only about a thousand kilometres south to, to get to the Wonder. Obviously, you know, we, we wouldn't leave you stranded. We've um, arranged for a local jungle guide called Will to look after you. He's going to sort you out with a place to stay and everything. Again, as always, very jealous of you, my friend. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Bye. So, what a dick. Oh, my God, dude. I don't, okay, so... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Okay, uh, Brazil, right? Brazil, yeah, uh, <laughs> is is a is a is a tourist trap, tourist location, lots of people. Yeah, uh, he's in the ass end of the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, um, where things are just 
made to kill you. Absolutely. <laughs> so, like, oh, man. This is God. just as dangerous as the desert. Yes. To me. Well, probably more. To me, this is more. Because desert, you die. Heat stroke dehydration. The, the, you don't have alligators or caimans and piranhas and anacondas and jaguars and... Yeah, something to fucking kill you. Uh, <laughs> like deadly spiders and <laughs> like plants that can give you cancer. Like, great. You got all of it. Yep. Oh, dude. And and oh and and torrential downpours. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, and that, yeah, and, and jungle and jungle rot. So oh, there you my go. God. Awesome, lovely. <laughs> uh, poor Carl. Uh, I would have already already, I would have already gone home. Couldn't pay me enough. Yeah, you you, you shouldn't title this any of the You should title it "Poor Carl." <laughs> poor Carl, man. <laughs> oh man. All right. <laughs> It just annoys me because they always say to me, well, oh, you always come across pissed off and all that, and people would love to do what you're doing. But they wouldn't because I'm constantly on edge. I haven't slept for about 30 odd hours. Uh, so. You ever been to the jungle before? No, but the, why would I? Why would I go to the jungle? I've never watched Tarzan. I thought I'd like to go there on holiday. <laughs> it never looks great. <laughs> And no Phil Collins soundtrack. It's the last one. I know, but that's what worries me. It's, it's the last one. That's that's part of the problem, though, isn't it? Because Ricky and Steve are going, let's go out on a bang. <laughs> These are getting on me tits already. <laughs> oh, that's right, mosquitoes. What would you make oh, yeah. the Shit ton. Is this it? I don't want to see all of it, so get that out of your head. <laughs> I mean, it's no different to the Thames, is it? Is that a nice place where we're staying, Will? It's a jungle one. We're staying in the jungle. It's getting to the end of the day. I've got to go in the jungle. I've got to try and sleep in the jungle. Oh, my God, Girlfriend, Carl. I have to watch you where you're walking. We have many species of dangerous things. Like what? Like uh, scorpions, tarantulas, spiders, uh, ants. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> now we are very lucky to find a light at the moment, to lucky. find a place where we... We're lucky. Where we, stay. we are lucky. Hang on. Fucking hell. Yeah. Put a fit over there. What are you thought I'm what? I'm not. Yes. Can't be bothered. What is this about? <coughs> How do you know where you're going now? There's, there's no path or anything. You're just chopping away. <laughs> this is the place where we stay. You'll be resting tonight in here. This is a good place, is it? Yeah. So. Oh. oh. What do you make of the campsite? It's not a campsite. What are you on about? Campsite. This isn't a campsite. I've been to campsites. A toilet, showers, maybe a little arcade. <laughs> fella on a, you know, on the front gate, checking you've got a pass to come in. <laughs> to them, I was watching it. They're going. Don't know what all the fuss is about. We've seen this time and time again. I am knackered, and I don't know how to get that across to them at home. That I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh, we believe you, Carl. You're pissed off. I would have been pissed off once I saw the plane. You couldn't <laughs> pay me enough to get on that fucking thing. No. Oh no, man. Oh man. So oh, it, I, I get weary about planes as it is. Like, when I took off from St. Martin, like, you know, like, <laughs> when you when you come off of St. Martin, like, like, when the plane takes off, there's a mountain there, and it has to go straight up to avoid it. I was freaked out. You're just white-knuckling the, the plane? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but oh, then... dude. I feel so bad for him. 
Uh, it's like, funny though. Oh my god. Man. Oh man. Only filmed a little bit so far. I know, but I, I tell you what, I'll tell you what we could do. Like Attenborough does. He's got it right. He does a little thing at the start going, here I am in the Amazon. You never see him again. It's all voiceover. I bet he lands. I bet they go, keep that fucking plane engine running. <laughs> here I am in the Amazon. Then he fucks off, back off, back off home, and then he's sat in the studio, and there I was with a frog. Where? We never see him anymore. He's never, <laughs> there. He's never there with a the frog in his hand. It's always like a, a big close-up. You don't know where he is. He's at home. <laughs> I, I'm sat in a toilet that I've made that I know I'm, I'll be sat here later having a shit, thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> oh. I don't understand what they're thinking. I mean, I thought Ricky and Steve were sending me to Machu Picchu, so why am I in the middle of the Amazon now? Because it's funny. Oh, they got actual tents, bro. Look at that. Come on. Last night, man. I can't stay here again. I can't. I, I can't. Ah, fucking shit. I can't stay here again. I've got to move on. And I can't do the tent again. So I might as well forget this. Oh, my God, bro. Two o'clock in the morning. That... Two o'clock in the that is possibly the best place for you. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's not gonna get any better than that. No, bro. Oh, the fucking Amazon. Oh, you bite, you bite your tongue on that. Mm-hmm. You take every, what you every, can get. Everything on the ground wants to kill you. Uh huh. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. It, it 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 sees you as dinner. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. In the morning, I'm pissing into an Evian bottle. This wasn't the plan. This wasn't the plan. Nothing makes sense in here. That's the other thing, nothing makes sense. Now, that's how much water I had last night. That, there's a little bit left in the bottom there. There you go. So how have I managed to piss that much? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I've got, I pissed more than I've drank. And look at the color of it, that isn't healthy. <laughs> oh, he showed us the oh, piss. Man. You know, Oh, man. He All can right, go right. throw that at an Oasis concert now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, now, after this, he has to go to a concert. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. I'm not a doctor, but I've never pissed like that before. <laughs> I know I'm not that old yet, but I reckon this is the lowest point of my life. <laughs> is that a rat? Smart. Oh. These are all right, these. I mean, I'd eat a rodent if there's nothing else, but it's hard to sort of sit over there and tuck down, you know, tuck into a, a rat when I know I've got beans and sausage here. It just seems a bit, a bit gaff, doesn't it? I don't normally cook at home. I'm a bit hard to see them. The deal is, she does the cooking, I wash up. I've got a dishwasher now. So I don't really do anything. <laughs> oh. That's so many. Those ants are bees, dude. Oh. Oh, this, every time it cuts to a, a, a scene with bugs, it just ugh, it gives me the eebie jeebies. Yeah. Oh. Just have a wander about. Basically, I'm just showing you a tree now. There's nothing there. Don't be thinking that green thing's anything. Or is anything? it? No, it's just a bit of mould. You know, do we actually need these creatures for the world to, to go on? All right, that one there I'm talking about, the one with its head down. All right, there you go. It's walking over there. And a little wrestle with another other one. Just started a fight, so that's that's a bit of a hooligan, that one. <laughs> when you look, there's stuff whizzing around your ears all the time, or crawling up your arm, or I'm just going to get bitten a lot. Oh, he's already Stick got insects like... insects I've just found on a tree. And there's always something on my arm. Look at that little fly sat there as well. Imagine it. Imagine being a sick insect walking about. You'd be forever going, is that, what's his name? And, and, 
and you'd, be, you'd have to walk all the way up to the twig. You know, oh, it's just a bloody twig again. It doesn't work. She looks nice, I'm going over there. All right, love, oh, oh, it's just a stick. It's hard, it's a hard life to be a stick insect. <laughs> and what's that tree all about? Trees, dangerous trees. I was worrying about scorpions and spiders and shit. Fucking tree with knives coming out of it. <laughs> I feel like I've seen the jungle now. You know, I've had a route around, I've seen all the insects and that, so I might as well just have another look at the Amazon. You know, everyone seems to make a fuss about it, saying, oh, you know, the Amazon's nice and everything. But what I saw of it the other day, I wasn't that impressed. Hmm. But Will wants me to go out again, so I might as well, because there's nothing else to do. There it is. Will that come over? Huh? Tienes una manguera? Tienes una manguera? I had no idea they had dolphins swimming about. Do you like dolphins, Carl? Um, yeah, they're all right. It sort of gets on my nerves how people say they're really intelligent, because I've never seen any, any of them do anything that's blown me away. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just the way they get raved about so much by people saying they're intelligent. That's what annoys me, because everyone's always calling me a div. So the fact that they're going, yeah, Carl's an idiot, but they're going, yeah, dolphins are bright. That's, <laughs> that's all I mean. Here we go. Is all right, Pam? Be careful! Shit! Whoa! It's the waves. Okay, that, oh. that wave part was fun, but now... Oh, now he's back without a tent. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. He's got his ginger crinkle crunch. He's eating all his food. Oh, smart man. Yep. He's eating cookies. It tastes even better, eh? Or biscuits, oh. sorry. What? I want to show you something. Oh, God, no, don't do it. Come on, here. What? Come on. Oh, Is that here we will? go. I have something to show you. I think you never see that. Do you see this kid? Don't do it, Carl. Fucking hell. I think he wants to eat something. Did you say it's poisonous or it's no, not? No, it's poisonous. not poisonous. That's bad you, that's by you, but it's not poisonous. It's well, not that's poisonous. No, that's they are, again, that's no good. They are, so these are the ones that wrap round you? Yeah. And then you sort of breathe in. <laughs> What's that? I'm gonna stand over here a minute, because... You're gonna what? kill and eat it, I bet. You are in the jungle. I know I am. I wish I wasn't. This is ridiculous, this. Nothing's normal, is it? I had two minutes over there, sat by a fire having a biscuit and a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and all this is going on. I shook it a bit of biscuit. Well, what? It doesn't eat biscuit. You How eat do you biscuit. know? How do you know? Have you ever tried feeding one of them? No, they well, eat, they eat and frogs. Then. Then. Listen to me. Let, watch this. Watch this. Huh. What? Biscuit. OK. Yeah. Can you get a light on it? They had this over here. The waste of a biscuit, really. Oh, they're going to feed it. Crazy. They don't feed the animals. The noise is doing me head in. There's different insects going off all the time. I mean, they say most of the jungle is nocturnal. But I'm not surprised. It all has to be awake through the night. There's no chance of getting any sleep here, even if you're not a nocturnal animal. Face it with this racket, I'm not gonna get any sleep, am I? Just only the fucking day. Alright, mate. How's oh. it going? Um, so good. <clears throat> so Spencer, next time you're in the Amazon. <laughs> the next time we're in the time, Amazon. Or the first time. Okay. It's when those noises stop that you get scared. Okay. When the jungle is quiet, that's that's yeah. when you. That's when you worry. That's when a big animal is about to come and fuck you <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, that's that's when, when the noise is stopped. That's when you. That's when you are on high alert. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh, man. I'm so happy he brought that <laughs> England porta potty. Yeah. 
That's that was such a pro move, man. Yep, yep. Oh. A man of experience. Uh, that's about seven episodes too late, but yeah, <laughs> could have used that in China and uh, everywhere. India, everywhere. Man, <laughs> well, you're heading upstream. We've arranged. Oh, you broke for you through to it. Visit, oh no. Um, a little village. Um, the locals there are expecting you. Um, and you should know to be extra polite because they used to be cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, mate. See you later. Come on. Oh, oh no. Right. Oh, no. So I think, I think. Now, you know I've never seen it before. Uh-huh. But I know. Out there in the Amazon, out there in the jungle, we. <sighs> it's like he's going to get if, fucked up. Yeah, and, and 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 the people are probably not clothed. Mm, no, no. Why? Why would you be clothed in humid ass temperatures? Right. I hope it's mostly tits and not uh, dicks. You know. Well, what how I mean? do you think they have? Uh, yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh man. Is he having a laugh? I mean, what does he mean, they used to be cannibals? I mean, well, yeah. what, what are they doing now, then? What happens if it's just... I'm like a rare delicacy that triggers something off? I haven't mean, met a white man for, for years. <laughs> well, you know it, they're all giving it all this. How are you, how you around a fire? Me sat in a pot. What am I going to do? You're worrying too much. Worrying too much? Just go and stay with some cannibals. Make you feel, look, you know, feel at home. OK. I am got a problem. If I got hungry, I'd quite happily eat human. There's no different. They say it tastes like pork anyway. What? Well, say if they took the lid off and it was just a foot. And they sort of said, have a bit. I'd almost be a bit like, well, I want to know a bit about the person first. <laughs> In the same way that we do with chickens, everything's got to be, is it organic? Where's this been brought up? What field has it been on? What's it been eating? I'd be a bit like that. I'd want an organic foot. I'd, I'd, I'd want to know the history of it. Did he have athlete's foot? How often has he changed his sock? Just a little bit of something that goes, yeah, this is a nice foot. It's worth eating. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about it like that. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you want an organic fella. <laughs> was uh, it a locally sourced foot? Yes. Was it uh, uh, organic, free range, hormone free? <laughs> organic foot. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. I guess the Kardashians are not becoming a uh, 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 fodder for cannibals anytime soon. No. 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 <laughs> Uh, it's silicone. Not, it's just not even biodegradable. <laughs> oh. All right, didn't wave back, so that's... They don't know what that means, or they hate me already. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> nothing, nothing again. I'm not doing it again. It's embarrassing. It's like asking someone's name three times and not hearing them. Are they smiling, even? This is proper, isn't it? This is like proper tribe. Oh, shit. Have you seen me? What a knobhead I look. <laughs> what a way for them to see me. <laughs> Use the wood, dude. This what are you doing? Are they up there? Oh, they're all watching as well. It's the stairs here. Eh? You'd think they would have sorted this out for me if they knew it was coming. <laughs> Do I want the bags yet? All right. OK. <laughs> He's glad to see the back of us, isn't he? See you then. Look at him, he can't get out of here quick enough. He knows more than I do, obviously. Look at him, not hanging about, no waving. Raymond, Raymond! <laughs> Anyone watching at home, he does do tours.
No, man. Uh, I'm sussed out, man. How are you doing? Yeah. Nice hey, hey. How are you doing? How are you doing? How do you say hello again? Hello. The chief. Around. Presidente. 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 Oh, this is going to be hard work. See, I don't like that. I don't like the big, uh, all the attention. That's one of the reasons I haven't got married. <laughs> all that photo, everyone's looking at me. You know where to look. Women there, we're now on stuff. It's like, what's going on? Ah, that's right. What, what's huh? he saying, Aldo? What? What's that? Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. Where are you coming? That's what I say. Why am I coming? Where are you coming? I'm coming here. Ricky and Steve, my friends, asked me to stay here on the way to Machu Picchu. I've just been explaining to um, fella here that I'm on my way to Machu Picchu. Need somewhere to sleep? On my way. I'm gonna sp I'm gonna be staying here in a tent. All right, let's all uh, let's get on with it. We've all got stuff to do. They're not happy. Oh, 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 oh. God. This white motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. oh, it's pretty scary for both. Uh huh. Pretty scary for both parties. Yeah, they could have like... been bringing the smallpox <laughs> into the village. Oh man, and the Omicron. Stupid. <laughs> oh, I had to go there. We're waiting for the Amazon variant. Oh man. Oh god. And the uh, and the Walmart Plus variant. I come. I can't. How come that's not a variant? <laughs> it should be. Jesus Christ. Oh, All right. Here we go. <laughs> There's a woman with an axe. Right, um, and she's not wearing the stuff. It's like she didn't want to join in. It's, a, it's mad, isn't it? No matter where you live, there's a nutter. Whether it's on a council estate in Manchester, London, in the jungle, there's always one in who doesn't want to join in, swinging an axe about. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he's going to chuck it down. No one else seems to be showering. And I don't understand why. This is this is brilliant. I mean, this children, this is... They believe in nature and stuff, don't they? That you use what God gives you. I mean, I don't know, I've just made that up. They haven't said anything like that, but I imagine that's what they do. <laughs> that's a... Uh, that's a make lemonade move. Yeah. <laughs> You have lemons, a.k.a. the rain. Yeah, make lemonade. I like shower. <laughs> you ain't gonna get I, I a shower. I would have been like, grab all the water I can and drink that. Yes, yes. <laughs> just go open wide. Yeah, just, ah. oh my God, man. <laughs> oh. What the, what the. Gotta love it. Good old Cayman backpack. It's a gator. Is that a gator on there? It's a caiman. A caiman. My friend. They're smaller. Oh. This is aggressive. Okay. All right. I'm learning. Is it alive? <laughs> the way it's just left there. <clears throat> it's not looking good for it, is it? <laughs> I don't live here, but I'm guessing things aren't looking good for it. But I don't want to say don't do that. Uh -oh. It's cruel, because they'll go, okay, we'll go back to our old times then. Get in the pot. <laughs> Very I'll true. Have that. Oh, they cut that thing up. Head. You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love to eat that. I saw you cutting it off. You cut it off, you eat it. But can you let them know that I don't feel like I should take the food from them? Everybody wants you to But you're not telling them what I'm saying. I need this is the one time I need you to, to explain. I don't, I don't think I should eat it. I shouldn't take food off them. They're so funny. I'm not actually a meat. All right. If I can. Okay. Like, they're surrounded by food. Yeah. 
these people know where to get food. Right. And they're in one of the most food-rich environments, especially being cannibals. <laughs> food-rich yep. environments. Uh-huh. There is. <laughs> and they got some white meat around. <laughs> yeah. If they offer you something that's not human, eat it, dude. Yeah, just eat it. Beggars can't be choosers. And gator does taste good. Yeah, it tastes like chicken. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it in Florida with uh, yeah. some hot sauce. Yep. It's uh, really good. Yeah, so. Tita. I don't eat meat. Vegetarian. Bullshit. What are they doing for pudding? <laughs> what Something. are they doing? Is that a frog? Well, something, Aldo. I don't think I'd see that today. You know, a fella getting poison off a frog. Oh, yeah. Weird, it? Oh, it's poison frog. And they what, believe what them that things if you are. stick it on you, it gives you extra energy to go off and hunt, stuff like that. It's all about up there, isn't it? Oh, poison you know, arrow frog. with the amount of drugs she's on. If she was here, she'd be up for that. She'd go on and add that. What, what, what are you mixing there? Toad and a bit of spit. Oh, I want to try that. If it hasn't been tested on animals, it's been tested on me aunt in aura. Oh my god. Oh, so I thought they just burnt in with a stick. And now they put in the the toad sweat and man spit on it. Does that hurt? Ah ah. Does that does that hurt? Make you feel dizzy. Why do you want that? Why do you want to feel dizzy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be sick in a minute. Oh god. Say no. Oh god. No, I'm okay now. I'm full of full of life. I'm great. Can you let him know I'm full of energy? That would probably kill him. Tell him, tell him yeah. now. <laughs> I have that. Sort <laughs> off. I'm not having it done. <laughs> Come on, let's go hunting. Oh, God. <laughs> See what's happening is she, here. Is, she go, is he going hunting? I think. Keep walking. Keep walking. Is this for the hunting or is she just a bit forward? <laughs> <laughs> and the woman came over, put a bit of makeup on me, made me look like a, like a jaguar. That's the idea. No, they didn't. Why didn't you bother having a show here today? Hang on. Young Johnny picking his arrows for this for the championship. That's what I do in the end, sort of build it up like it's important. This for £100,000. And he's got it. <laughs> anyway, they had a go. They were good. I had a go. I was shite. I must have had about nine or ten goes. <laughs> oh. But people were starting to leave. Oh. I can't do it. Can't do it. I like how the kids are always like super far away. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, don't get near him. Don't get near the white kid. Looks like they're going hunting. I thought they would have said to me, do you want to just come? Even if they didn't want me there. I know I wasn't that great this morning with the with the arrows. But they didn't even sort of sneak off and say, look, we're going to leave him behind because he's useless. Let's just go one at a time. Let's not make a big deal out of our hunt. The whole, the whole village came out again to see him off. And that's another thing as well about tribes that I read before I come here. They only count up to three <laughs> because they don't need a higher number. I read that. Yeah. Honestly, if you like this, you'll love it. You're the red, right? These are all yours. Because oh. they live in a world where they don't deal with mass. It's all like, you want chicken leg? Yeah. How many do you want? 
I'll have two. He sees he's not got it, has he? So, now watch. Right, so I win. Whee! Have you been out hunting? Yeah. How many chickens did you get? Got three. What, <laughs> is that all we've got? No, Harry got two. Oh, so we've got three and two. Oh, great. They don't need to, they don't need to go higher than that. Which is why they probably don't understand Connect Four. <laughs> there you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, genius. Genius, yep. genius, genius. Oh man. oh, man. But you know what? One of my, one of my life goals is to go there. Not that, that village. No, 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 no. To the no, Amazon. No. Yeah, the Amazon and Machu Picchu. And those are very attainable for us. Yeah, it, it, we can make it work. Yeah, you those know. are very attainable. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's just uh, not this. We're not doing it this way. If anybody has been to there, put them down. Put it down in the comments what your yes. experience was. Yes, please. Come on, someone else have a go. This fella looks serious. He's got a sort of a intelligent kid's haircut. Oh, I've heard from you. I hope you don't just been mucking around. This is a job. Um, let's get you out of the jungle. You're going to catch a flight now to Cusco, um, and you're going to do what is that? the Inca Trail. Come on, know. mate. Let's get on with it. All right, boy. See you later. It's a dog. Like it. Paul. Hey. I, I think they want you to pay for all the gifts you've been given. Can you get Aldo to tell these that I haven't got any money? Because he's a bit awkward. This. Aldo. He doesn't translate anything. You have to give them back. All right, I'll give them them back. Yeah. But it's not because I don't want them. It's because I just haven't got any money. See, I don't have any money. They don't give me any money. I thought they wouldn't take them off me. Seems like a bad ending now. It's all gone a bit downhill now. I haven't got any money. Basically, I've got to get on a plane and get over to a place called Cusco. Start the walk up to Machu Picchu, which is fine by me because it's we're getting closer and closer. It's just you know, let's get on with it. Just waiting for a plane. Holy shit! <laughs> Weird, that isn't it? People at home will be going. We're well, in a bus stop. <laughs> Not the airport. <laughs> Where is the runway? Over there, I think. That, that feels... That's the runway. <laughs> it's not. It's not an airport, then, is it? It's a bloke who's built a hut and got his lawnmower out. <laughs> is he safe? <laughs> it just seems a bit mad that they've got planes when they haven't got runways. Like people on Bullseye when they used to win boats when they live in a block of flats. Oh. There it is. Buildings! Actual buildings! I wasn't even aware of this. That needs like 30% less oxygen. I've never heard of that. So that's gonna wear me out, isn't it? Oh, dude. They don't tell you that, do they? Come and see the wonder and suffocate to death. How about, have you ever, have you ever been like to Colorado or anything like that? No, no. That's a real thing. Yeah. That, the oxygen deprivation? Uh-huh. Oh, dude. I went to uh, to uh, Colorado out in uh, Manitou Springs, and that was like near Pikes Peak. Uh -huh. You know Pikes Peak. From yeah, yeah, Mother yeah. Sports. From the from the rally, and so. also the the triathletes yes. train up there. Yes. Um, dude, just walking upstairs, just sweat, because there's no oxygen. Oh, Your body wow. works like quadruple, just to try to get enough wow. like energy. Wow. And, and that's why athletes train there, so they can get used to that. Yeah. They, they, and when you come back down to, like, sea level, you're, like, prime. That makes sense. It's like training with weights on. Wow. And then when you get back, you're like, oh, yeah, I can have a full lung capacity. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry. No. Tangent. no, 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 no. That's, uh, uh, I, I, it gives me perspective of what's yeah. to come. So. <laughs>
Here we go. I mean, I know the wonder is meant to take my breath away. Not like this. <laughs> Perfect. We've got oxygen over there. We've got what? Yeah, you, you can buy oxygen reception. Is it like, do they have like a, a little cupboard, like the fridge that they have, where they charge you ridiculous amounts for a bottle of water? Up there, they'll have a cupboard full of oxygen, and they know if you're in there going, <gasps> you're not going to be going, how much? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to pay how much? You, <laughs> what price do you put on a bottle of air if you need it? <laughs> I bet they've got a right scam going on here. Get uh, out of here! Out of yeah, just about. I'm just, uh, just left there yesterday, just in Costco. Oh. Try one when I talk about series two. Yeah, well, I'm not doing, doing any more of this, so you can tell them now. They don't even have to... Don't wait for me to get home. Just say he's not interested. He's been around the world now. He's seen it all. He's done everything. Knock it on the head. I've been through a load of shit here. Tell them now. Call them now and tell them that we're not doing series two. Nip that in the bud. All so right. you've got my heart going more now. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna eat those words real soon. <laughs> mm. Apparently, it's a tradition that if you're going on a long walk, like I'm about to do, that I'm not in the mood for, it's good to see this doctor who blesses your body, checks out that you're well, and gets you ready for the, the trek ahead. So I, I, I meet this bloke, a uh, local fella called Richard. <laughs> Tiny, he's thinking he's miles away. Turns out he's about four foot, so he seemed further away than he actually was. <laughs> Richard, yeah? Yeah, I'm you? Carl. Carl. Carl, yeah. Carl. How are your feelings? Um, sick. Yeah. Uh, shits. Yeah. Headache. Headache. You got out like this bag of shite. Bits of grass, plastic things. You know when you have a bowl at home and you go, I might need that, and you have like you chuck things in it, screws, bits of cotton, string, belly button fluff, whatever. It's like he'd been round and gone and emptied all the shit bowls around the country and stuck it in a bag. <laughs> Now, he got out a guinea pig at one point. I'm not quite sure what was going on. Does he bite? Yeah. He does? Yeah. But when you've seen a doctor... What? ..who's using string and old earbuds and stuff, you kind of think, well, the guinea pig's probably got more of an idea of what's wrong with me than this fella has. So I just went along with it. I wanted a second opinion from him. You know what I mean? From the guinea pig. No, no, no. no I don't quite understand what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> Anything problem for your guinea pig? He said all the badness that was in me <laughs> was transferred to the guinea pig. So somewhere, you know, there's a guinea pig walking around with major shits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Poor guinea pig. Oh, man. That's funny. Oh, what? Oh, man. Mm. Choo choo train. Is it this way? The Machu Picchu choo choo. Going? Yeah. All right, you ready? <laughs> Say that three times fast. Yeah, I know. Machu right? Picchu choo choo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of like saying Irish wristwatch. Yes, Irish. Yeah. <laughs> no. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you got that joke, comment below the timestamp. <laughs> we have to bring all this stuff. Jesus, it's like going out with my mum. She stops at every shop. You enjoying the walk, Carl? No. Because I'm not well, am I? Not well. It's too hot. That bit of toffee you gave me is worn out. You got any more? 
I'm not in the mood for this. Just tell us which way it is. There's no way anyone will be watching this going, that looks pleasant. Elsie, fancy going there? Definitely not. <laughs> How can I enjoy it after this? Or is it meant to work that way? That, you know, you're just happy to be there. God almighty. <laughs> you said loads of people do this. I haven't seen anyone. How much better is it? How much better is Machu Picchu compared to that? Oh, wow. Uh, Don't you think it's amazing that they made these kind of buildings and it's just going to get better? I think you're talking shit. <laughs> because I'm not looking for Elsie. This isn't a property programme, is it? I'm not going to go just like this, but just something with a bit, bit, bit you know, a bit more outside space. What, what am I doing it for? If it's exactly like this, let's stop here. <sighs> Doesn't make sense, though, because these things are living in look like bungalows. Well, what's the point if you've got to keep doing this? You might as well have house with stairs. <laughs> A bit more pleasant. Fox, I think. What's the last kind of pee? Pop it up. Oh, my God. I don't get it. Why don't they just want a rest? They've been walking up there with all these bags, out of breath, and now they're wasting breath, just making a racket. I mean, that doesn't even sound nice to me. That's not relaxing. <laughs> they're all doing their own thing here. <laughs> I mean, I've had, I had a cassette of pure moods, like panpipe stuff. Used to sort of make a bit, bit of a romantic evening. Didn't sound like that. And there certainly wasn't a rat involved. Oh, oh God, oh. oh. God for that. That looks homey. Oh. I'm going to keep walking. All right, enjoy your dinner. I, I would, I'd rather starve. Dude. Oh, wow, there it is. Welcome to Machu Picchu. Thank you very Thank much. You. Nice job. Yes. You're having a laugh, aren't you? See you. Ta-da. <laughs> there it is. We done a full circle. First impressions. There isn't one. <laughs> there isn't one. I just feel I felt that view earlier that I saw was better than this one. You sure you're looking at the right thing? That bit of grass and rock over there. I'm not going any further. Because <laughs> it's more of what we've already seen. I'm not killing myself. I've done everything that Ricky and Steve have wanted me to do. I we need to do it anyway, Carl. We can't. Well, go then. You're standing here. The sun's going down. Get over there. I'm not going. I'm, I, I'll tell you now. I'm not going anymore. He's done. <laughs> I relate to that. Oh, and then where do I find you? Well, I'm... I'm... I'm kind of at the wonder. Kind of at the wonder, or are you at the wonder? I mean, I'm at the wonder, but I've only just got here, so I've been walking about eight hours, right? <coughs> now, right. I'm at a point where I can see the wonder, the cameraman can see the wonder, but Richard, who's in charge, is worrying, going, Sky, I want to see the wonder. Have you got a problem if we just see it from here, have a look, and go? I am not sure I'm happy about this, Carl. I want to see the wonders of the world in HD. <laughs> That's what concerns me. Yes, friend. yes. I've got you this gig with Ricky on Sky One. It's a major television thing. If they're putting all their money behind this, this is, their, this is make or break for them. But I've been walking for eight hours, and the view from here is magnificent. Are you just saying that now? Are you being honest with me? I think it looks magnificent. Carl, I have never heard you use the word magnificent. My life. <laughs> 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 if the, the, the view in the sky are not going to be the prize, then I trust you. 
Well, but that... no, you're not going to let them down. You're not going to let me and Ricky down. Mm. You're certainly not going to lie. No. You never lie. No. <laughs> Don't bother telling Ricky or anything. I'll speak to him when I get back. <laughs> All right. All right, see ya. Oh, God. He is a broken yeah. man. See? Easy. We'll just do a David Attenborough job on it when I get home. Just do a load of voiceover. <laughs> job done. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 70 miles from Cusco is one of the old ancient cities of the <laughs> world. <laughs> a maze of old rock and sort of huts, Oh, he did it! Sort of he did huts, it! Genius! Boulders, walls, lots of rock-related old stuff. You know, get, get lost in the maze. That's, that's an easy thing to do. I mean, look at that old fella down there. He needs a step ladder to get out of the place. <laughs> God knows what she's playing at. And that's good, isn't it? Wonder of the world. Protect it with some strings, why not? I mean, I'm struggling here, if I'm honest with you. I don't know how to sell it to you. Do you like llamas? <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That was awesome. You know, out of all the journeys <laughs> that he's had, this is probably the best one. Yeah. Just I, the I, amount of cringe, uh, the amount of how just fucking done with this he is. That makes it for me. <laughs> for that two thumbs up. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, it's one of the best ones, man. Oh, man. This was so worth it. There's one more, Carl Comes Home, and there's two seasons after that. Yep. I'm going to look forward to getting to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Till next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose. And embrace the suck. We'll see you all next time. Later.